Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're gonna to be talking about what has happened to Black Desert Online after the hidden stats for most gears have been revealed. The hidden stats being revealed was something that a lot of players wanted to happen and now that it's finally happened, we can actually go in and maximize our builds in different ways without having to worry so much about choosing the wrong things and testing and all that kind of stuff, which kind of added to the charm to the game for some people, but ultimately was kind of unnecessary in the grand scheme of things especially considering how long it takes to get gear in this game and how challenging it can be for some players with the rng system you kind of don't want to play around with something if you don't know for sure that you should be trying to wear it so the things that haven't changed uh, for the most part are the when it comes to best and slots are the chest and the boots slockets pretty much for boots you do want to get boss boots that's pretty much un like it's just nothing you can argue but the thing is you can choose between muskins or ergon boots muskins of course for the evasion and ergons for the damage reduction there is no right or wrong answer here but a lot of people are starting to go for ergons rather than evasion because well some classes just stack dr a lot easier than stacking evasion but that doesn't mean that you don't need evasion so um it's really up to you which pair of boots you think is best for you but for the most part, those two boots are the only two boots that you should be going for when it comes to end game. And then for the chest, of course, it's the tree chest. Tree chest is just unbeat, undefeatable by everything. Uh, there's really nothing else that you, you can say about it. It's just the best chest in the game. Not, not, not gonna waste time with that. And then bed gloves, of course. Now bed gloves, um, it's, it's not it's not mandatory to wear bed gloves. They do give a, a good amount of uh, defensive stats, but the, the reason why you want to wear bed gloves is for the accuracy. If you feel you need more accuracy or you need accuracy at all, and, and you're more interested in, in doing damage than t than being tanky, then bed gloves by all means you need to wear those. But if you want to be tanky, you do not need bed gloves. The, for the tanky players who more who are more so concerned about being as tanky as possible, you might want to look at a Rokaba glove instead of a bed glove you know and then now let's go to the one boss piece that everyone always assumed wasn't that big of a deal but no one really knew for a fact and that was the helmet so Gaia helmet and Griffin helmet both are um, both leave much to be desired to say the least they don't really add much um, in terms of defense when it comes to other helmets in fact they give a little bit less and for their price and the memory fragments that you need to repair them most people consider it not to be worth it myself included uh, so it, it's kind of um pretty much the general consensus that gaia and um and the other boss helmet is it, they're just not necessary to be worn or just, you just you just don't need them uh, a lot of people have just completely sold them or uh, taken them off and just put on a put on a different helmet a heave helmet for example gives a, a little bit more stats and once again it's much cheaper price so why even bother you know you could save those memory fragments for your other boss pieces and your other boss gear so uh, that's the thing but if you do want to get that attack speed and casting speed from the four piece boss set there's that's always there so if you feel you need that i suppose then that would be the time you want to put a boss helmet on but for the most part you really don't need a boss helmet and that's pretty much the general consensus consensus has been for a while we just didn't know for sure you know but now we know so yeah now now we get into the tricky stuff uh, i guess we'll start with the weapons but we'll start with the awakening weapon the awakening weapon and the dandelion gives um more hidden stats than we assumed which pretty much confirms that dandelion is a lot better than the blue awaken weapon which is something we always knew but there were people saying that the blue awaken weapon might be comparable to a dandelion but these hidden stats show otherwise especially in pve which is just dandelion just blows the the blue awakening weapon out of the water you should always be trying to go for a dandelion but a blue awaken weapon is not that bad until you get one keep that in mind and then we go into the two most controversial equipment slots in the game, even though everybody knows the main hand weapon, Zaka is the best and this confirmed Zaka is the best. It's way better than Laverto when it comes to accuracy it gives as well as the hidden stats is just all around the best weapon main hand weapon in the game we all knew this i don't know it's not really a shocker to me but a lot of people were trying to say that Laverto and Zaka were the exact same 
that's completely false. We see that now. But what we, what else we have learned is that some uh, main hand weapons, specifically the Elsh weapon, is actually a lot better than people thought it would be. It gives a lot of accuracy. It's like a baby Zaka. Even though you get less AP, you get a lot more accuracy. So maybe more people when they're making alts and stuff will look at this weapon as a better idea, a better alternative when they're leveling up in the leveling up process. Uh, Laverto isn't that much better than this in terms of accuracy. So there you go. And then after that, we go to the offhands. Now, I've said in the past that boss offhands are garbage and trash and you should never wear them. And I have to say that uh, from these stats, I have to say that I probably was wrong. And that's okay. Everybody's wrong sometimes. Uh, but a lot of people believe that it pretty much boss boss armor offhands are just garbage. They're just useless in most scenarios. And that's not the case. Now, let's go look at the best non boss offhand in the game arguably the leather van brace the vanguard shield and the sayer knot now if you look at all of these offhand they seem to have a lot going for them they have ap they have dp they have hidden evasion what's it well it's not hidden anymore but they also have accuracy right which is very very good that they have all of these things but but take a closer look let's let's bring up a kunum let's bring up a nuver and let's bring up a rosar now when it comes to accuracy these offhands that i mentioned in the first place are completely op but if you take the accuracy off of them just take the accuracy off and look at them now okay they don't they don't give the most ap clearly they don't give as much dp when you look at the hidden stats Kudum gives a little bit more in some situations. They don't give as much evasion because look at look at Rosar. Rosar completely destroys all of these offhands when it comes to evasion. And then um, they don't even they aren't even the best hybrid offhand if you want both AP and DP because once again Kudum is there. So and at the end of the day, these offhands are only as good as they are because of accuracy. But if you take the accuracy away, they're actually quite underwhelming. Yeah, I know you're going to say the special attack plus one bonus, but the special attack plus one bonus has also been tested by a lot of people that the special attack does not apply to critical hit. So wearing a offhand with two slots will allow you to have two crit, um, crit two crit multipliers. And of course, you're going to be giving up a down attack um, or multiplier and all that. But what you do in this game the most is you crit uh, for most classes. And before you get someone on the ground you're critting them at least a couple times so this is this is just absolutely new information and not only that but you can swap the crits for down attacks and things like that so with this information we can look at these offhands with a lot closer lens and see what they have to offer to us and we can kind of rebuild ourselves now the thing about it is if you don't have the accuracy in your accessories you literally can't take these off hands off if your class does not allow it and if you're missing too much if you feel like you're missing too much you have to have these off hands on which is why having accessories that are tied to accuracy allows you to swap off hands on the fly which is what i've done with my new build and once you've done that you can wear whatever off hand you like to fit the situation now the amount of accuracy accessories you need depends on your class clearly so i can't go too deep in there but this new information is definitely something that people should start considering especially classes that are using accuracy offhands they seem to be not that great in the grand scheme of things now that we have all of this hidden information there's ways to go about getting your ap and dp up a lot better and there's ways to go around getting your accuracy up a lot better than these accuracy offhands as shown on the screen so i do want to thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments box below um, and make sure you check out my patreon i'll post the link in the description i got a whole bunch of different tiers on there for you guys for you guys to uh you know check out and there's one where i even give you guys one-on-one -on -one time with me for an hour where we discuss your builds and teach you a lot of things about the game and do pvp practice it's a very good uh very good uh resource for you guys but once again i always stress it don't freaking become a patreon if you don't want to support me I don't, i'm not selling a product here 
Okay, this is supporting me first, and then I give you something in return as sort of like a, a thank you gift. It's not a uh, 25 bucks to get trained once a week. That's not that's not the way you should look at it. Also, make sure you check out my Discord. I got the link in the description there. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.